G'day nerds, Luke here, thank you for watching. Star Citizen patch 3.7 is now live. If, like me, you have been re experiencing random disconnects and just in general subpar performance, um, hopefully this video will help you. I'm not going to beat around the bush any longer and uh, just jump straight into it. So I'm going to go through some settings here that I have personally myself changed um, that it seemed to have helped. If you're running, like if you're uh, not experience any issues or you know any problems, stability issues and random disconnects, I don't know why you'd be watching this if you're running some sort of supercomputer, maybe just for entertainment purposes or to see what the video is about, but thank you for clicking anyway. Um, so the first two settings are, and literally the only settings in this tab that I changed under game settings was vibration and show hints. I By default, they were set to yes and I have turned them to no, so there'll be no vibration because I don't have any uh, devices that um, would make use of this feature, and even if I did, I would want to turn it off. Um, and then show hints, I've turned that off. Uh, show hints, I don't, I mean, if you're new to the game and you, you kind of want, um, if you want that on, uh, no, actually, no, you, you don't want that on because you can go and watch, um, you know, Board Gamer on YouTube, you can go and watch, STYL Youngblood on YouTube and they've got a bunch of beginner tutorial videos that will help you understand the game a lot better than what the show hints will. So show hints needs to be off. Uh, we're going to jump over to the audio tab. Over here I've changed a couple of settings. Um, unless you're running a 5.1, 7.1, some sort of multi-speaker headset setup, you want dynamic range to be on minimum. If you're just running a stereo headset or stereo speakers, you want that to be on minimum. I'm not really going to get into technicalities and long-winded explanations as to why. Just take my word for it, please. Oh no, you need to, dude. They won't get it. Okay, so full range. Um, if you're running like a like full range, right? 5.1 subwoofer. You know, you you've got multiple different sort of. You got treble speakers. You got mid-range speakers. You've got a subwoofer for the bass and stuff like that. You want the dynamic range, the audio processing, to be full for, for that sort of a setup and with speakers and stuff. Um, that, it's it's a lot more technical than that. But honestly, I'm not going to bore you guys and crap on about it. So stereo headset, stereo speakers, minimum range, 5.1, 7.1, full range, period. Um, uh, device optimization, I'm running speakers. I can't wear headsets for too long because uh, never mind that. Um, ship of verbosity, I've left that on full. I don't really, like it doesn't really, I don't really understand what that means. But uh, combat music, no. And then audio driven camera shake. This here was a huge one for me. I was getting uh, a lot, I was getting disconnected a lot mid warp, right? Like I would initiate the warp and just after it would take off, game would just shut down um, and you know and then I'd be in the middle of a warp and then the game would just be like nope we don't like this shutting it down and then so I've since turned audio driven camera shake down to 50% and it seems to have helped dramatically um, so that's pretty much it in here audio driven uh, camera shake by default is at 100% turned down to 50 um, device optimization if you're running a headset you'll want to set that to headphones if you're running speakers you'll set that to speakers Dynamic range, minimum, and then um, whatever you, your sound effects and your all that sort of stuff. That's your personal choice. Uh, graphics, by default, gamma brightness and contrast is at 50. I've left that there. 1920 by 1080 resolution, that's default. Full screen, yes. I want a full screen. I would, I would want to see the all around the screen and all the things. Field of view, I've left that to default um, at 86. I don't like it. It works for me. It's, that's, a personal, that's a personal preference. Um, one, motion blur, good lord, I don't know why game developers across all different games still insist on putting motion blur in their friggin' video games. No one likes this setting, no one. By default for me, camera and object motion blur was, was set to default, I've since turned that off because it's absolutely god awful. V-Sync, vertical synchronization, that's a personal preference setting. Uh, I can't tell you what to do with that. You just have to make you know, your own decision. Um, I've left it on because I mean, I, it doesn't really seem to be causing me any issues at the minute. Um, full screen window mode by default is uh, set to no. I've flicked it to yes. And then chromatic aberration um, from 50 uh, was by default was at 100. And I've since turned it down to 50. And I get anywhere from like 40 to 60 frames per second. And I'm no really, I mean, 
60 to 80 frames a second would be much nicer but in a perfect world, right? So just quickly, guys, once again, game settings, vibration and show hints, no. They're the only two settings that I changed here. They were by default, yes, I switched them to no. Audio, your like the volume of the, all the things, that's personal preference. Uh, race commentary, I don't really, I'm not really interested in racing. Um, dynamic range, if you're running a stereo headset or speaker setup, you want that on minimum. If you're running 5.1 or 7.1, you want it on full. Device optimization, speakers, for me, is default. If you're running a headset, you want to switch it to headphones. Uh, ship computer for diversity, personal preference. Combat music, I've switched that to no. And then audio-driven camera shake strength from 100 down to 50. That's it. I'm done. Hope this helped. And, um, you know, feel free to... Uh, let me know down, down in the comment section if you got any, you know, benefits out of this. I don't know if you want to uh, drop a small aspiring no frills YouTuber a like and a, a subscription. It doesn't cost you any money, and all it is is just a click of a button. So I don't see why you wouldn't. Um, other than that, guys, I'm done. Nothing else. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.